Yo, another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off in the garage of my Airbnb. I am over here waiting on the clothes to get done out of the dryer here. Bro, check out these washer and dryers at the Airbnb. It's like commercial quality. This is a pretty cool Airbnb, by the way. This Airbnb is pretty much a hostel. I have no idea how many people are staying here, but um, let's see how many shoes are around. Because one rule, you have to take your shoes off when you come in, so everyone leaves their shoes by the door. So let's see how many shoes we see. So there's mine right there. And then there's, uh... And then here's a whole bunch of more shoes. And we've got this one. And there's more. So yeah, there's tons of people standing there. This is a pretty cool place, by the way. It's really nice and new and modern and very clean and, like, this. Long, quiet stairwell. Then we go back here. It's super early, by the way, so I'm packing everything up. And I'm just packing it up over here. Check out this huge room. Uh, this could be a YouTube room for me, you know? But anyway, I'm gonna finish packing because I gotta go. I gotta move the car because I'm in Daly City and parking really, really sucks in Daly City. I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's get this video started. Alright, working on this laundry right now. Ooh, this is a real job here. Some of the house rules for this Airbnb. Towing away without notice. To get your car back, it may cost you up to $600 a day. Yeah, that's about right. That sounds like the Bay Area. Traffic from Daly City, no joke. Waiting outside the restaurant now at the first Uber pickup, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. All right, just dropped the first Uber Eats order off, and that was a piece of cake. It was only like three blocks away, but so what, $9.60 to just take something three blocks away? It's because of the bonuses are double right now, the boost surges. Just accepted another request. It's right on the lines of the 2X and the 1.2 or something like that, but it's on the 2 side, so I'm pretty stoked. I'm going to go pick it up. It's from this, um, it's like a flower shop that's down in this church basement, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go head over that way really fast. Hopefully, I cross my fingers, this is not going to the financial district. Please go to, like, this way, like, a neighborhood, like, way out there, like, not the financial district, because I have to do the parking thing. Parking's really bad early in the morning, because a lot of the streets are open to drive on, so you can't illegally park like you can in the daytime. Yes, only Uber will send you to a church basement to pick up flowers, right? Yup, Uber, Uber, Uber. Uber, Uber. <laughs> I'm about to go drop the flowers off at the office. Just dropped that order off and guess who I just walked by? <laughs> boosted, like, boosted boards? Yeah, they have an office right there. And uh, yeah, just finished that one and uh, let's get out of here. I'm just sitting over here waiting on a caviar request and the city's about to get them a car. I wonder how long it takes for them to scoop that Jeep up real fast. You bet it takes no time for them to get a car like that. And it'll probably cost the owner about $500 to get it back. Actually, it'll probably cost $550 to get it back because they have to jack the front wheels up on that little dolly thing that the guy is building over there. All right, they're all set. They just got them a car. Look at it, just pulling away with that. Just pulling away with someone's car. Wait, wait. Just picked up this next order, and it's a caviar order. Now, this doesn't necessarily happen on caviar. This happens on a lot of apps, but it always takes me off when I walk into the restaurant and I give them the number, and then they like, oh, well, let me see your phone. It, it, like, like, I'm gonna randomly guess the number and then randomly come to this restaurant at the same time. You know, I don't know why they, why restaurants do that. I need to confirm your order. Yeah, okay, yeah, you yeah, you need to confirm my order. Okay, yeah, I confirm my order. Just dropped that delivery off, and as I was walking over to drop it off, it was this lady, like, waiting outside the restroom, and it was this big sign that says closed for cleaning, and um, she was just standing there, like, talking to herself, like, really? Come on. And I just told her, I said, man, if I was you, I'd just go in there. <laughs> and she did. I'm always breaking the rules with the parking lot. Right? I don't know, that lady probably thought I worked in the building, but I totally don't work in the building. 
I actually look like I could work in that building. No one dresses up at, in that building. No one dresses up at all. Probably the security guards only. It's beautiful. Man. You keep it and you keep it in good condition. This guy's got his cleaning outfit on. How many Uber drivers out there you rock your apron when you out cleaning your Uber? Cleaning up on them, huh? You're doing limo service? Yeah. Uber too? A little, huh? Oh, on, only to steal Probably the... Me back up with this dude here. Y'all remember Mike Dean? Mike Dean in the house. What up, Mike Dean? J.E. J.E. All over the place. Can't even keep track. Brothers bouncing all over. B bouncing all over the bay. So we're gonna, we're gonna film a show tomorrow, right? Tomorrow we're gonna hook up and uh, do another show. So keep posted. Watch out. We'll be hearing from Jermaine some of his uh, things that he's got going on and tell you a little bit about my boring life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay and tuned. We'll have, and we'll have some good subject matters going on. It's, it's the money-making segment. We're going to do that. We're going to do the money-making segment. A money-making segment. Yeah. How, how to get paid on top of what you're doing. Yep. Cha-ching. See ya. I really hope you guys can hear me. I left my microphone in the car. But uh, here I'm on top of uh, here. Thought I would stop and take a little break and uh, enjoy the scenery, enjoy the sights, and I uh, just try to figure out what else I'm gonna do tonight. Don't know if I'm gonna go do deliveries. Maybe I can do a few and uh, see what I get into later. This is Twin Peaks neighborhood. Every now and then I have to stop and just, you know, look at the scenery. It's so beautiful here. Everyone has a view. Pretty nice. Definitely won't find too many tourists over here. It's so hilly. It's kind of hard to get to Perfect time to do deliveries right now. The bonuses are really good So maybe I'll knock out one or two deliveries probably two deliveries and then I'll uh, call it a delivery night Now this is one of those newer buildings that I've never made a delivery in and Man, this, this building is really cool by the way like, I want to live in a building like this <laughs> These buildings are not cheap. I mean, yo, even check out the elevator. This joint's so dope on the inside. You don't even press the buttons because you, you tell it out there which floor you want to go to. And this one's going straight to floor one. I love these new high-tech features that they're throwing in these new buildings. Back in the mall now, rushing to pick up another order. Better get back down to the car before I get towed. I'm just leaving Whole Foods now, and I wanted to like order some french fries, so I went there and the kiosk wasn't working, so I had to wait in this long line, and I waited in line for about 10 minutes by the time, when it was time for me to order, it was 9.02 and the kitchen's closed. So uh, yeah, leaving Whole Foods, and um, I don't know. Today has been one of those days, like I've been all over the place, and today has definitely been more chilly. And I'm checking out the forecast for next week, and there's going to be a lot more rain in the forecast. And I'm like, oh, here we go, here we go. Next week should be a much better week than this week, because I know this week's been dead because of all this nice weather we've had. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get ready to end the vlog. I'm going to go meet up with a friend, grab some food, and pass out, get ready to do all this over again tomorrow. So thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.